As you type your document in Word 2010, you'll get closer and closer to the bottom of the page. When you reach the bottom and keep typing, Word inserts what's called a soft page break and continues on the next page. You can also insert page breaks yourself, just where you want them, and these are called hard page breaks. When you want to insert a page break, make sure your cursor is positioned just where you want it, and then press Ctrl Enter. So we'll place it there, and press Ctrl Enter. Notice how the new page starts with the text that occurs after the cursor. We'll Ctrl Z to undo that. You can also insert a page break by going to the Page Layout tab, going over to Breaks, and then Page. And that's done exactly the same thing, so we'll just Ctrl Z to undo that as well. Obviously the keyboard shortcut of Ctrl Enter is much quicker to use, so I recommend memorising and using that. Let's put another page break in here this time, so Control enter Now, when you turn on Hidden Formatting, that's on the Home tab, over here, you can see where the page breaks are. If you have a long document, you might want to break it up into sections, and in Word 2010, you can do that by inserting section breaks. So, let's just go down here and we'll insert a section break here, so I've just placed the cursor there and to do that we go back to the page layout tab breaks and then choose one of the four section breaks here the names of the section breaks give you a good idea of what each one does next page inserts a section break and continues the document on the next page Continuous will insert a section break, but will remain on the current page. Even an odd page, um, they insert section breaks and then continue the document on the next even or odd page. Um, here, we'll just insert next page. As you can see, it's continued the document on the next page here and just rolling up you can see that here is the section break we left hidden formatting switched on that's why we can see these funny symbols here and that will tell us where the section breaks are as we've just seen but there is another way of knowing uh, what section you're currently in and we'll just turn off hidden formatting now And if we just right click on the taskbar down here and then select section, then you can see that we're current, well, at least where the cursor is placed, that's in section 2. And just rolling up, place the cursor here, and we're in section 1. One of the advantages of using sections in your document is that Word allows us to use different page setups in different sections. Um, so if you imagine that this document um, is a transcript that requires line numbers, we can have uh, line numbers resetting when the section changes. Let's demonstrate that now by selecting all the text and then just select the end of that and then we need to go into the page layout tab and open up the page setup window by clicking on this dialog launcher. We need to be on the layout tab because down here is the line numbers button which we'll click and we'll check add line numbering and down here we can specify that the line numbering starts afresh at the start of each page or when a new section starts or that the line numbering is continuous. We'll select restart each section, click OK, OK again, and if we just page up, we can see that the line numbering starts at 1 here. Carry it on here, because this is just a uh, page break that we inserted there. But down here, where we started a new section, the line numbering has um, reset to 1. 
You can also change the other page setup properties as well and have them apply to just specific sections because down here there is an apply to selector and you can choose whole document or selected sections and that goes for other properties as well like this one and the properties on this window as well.